um, this rest of this week, we're going to be looking at the issue. You know, I still brought this idea of our wealthy land. And what are the things that we have to um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Kola Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Ay, 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 ay. Oh, bakaya da ba 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 ba. Men dekele boko shata ba ya da ba. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, kaya da ba kara ba 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 ba. Makar ba 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 ba. Let's open our Bibles to the book of um I was asking, Joshua 9. Joshua chapter 9. Wow, thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, thank you, Holy, Holy Spirit. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 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 thank you Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Joshua chapter 9. Um, I was going to talk about something and just the Lord, as I said, we're still looking at the issue of the good land. We're still looking at the issue of good land. And I felt, I was speaking to a couple of people yesterday, and I said, um, we're going to be looking at the issue of deception, our hearts, um, clean and unclean, that old parameter. And let's see where the Lord will take us. While we, whilst we wait to have a conversation by God's grace um, next week on some things that we left pending from referral. Um, why are we doing this? I believe that in the good land, even the devil does not cease um, to try to manipulate people even in the good land. If you look at the issue of, um, what's it called now? Um, the Garden of Eden was a good land, yet the devil still found his way to sneak in and to be funny. All right, Joshua chapter 9. Now, these guys have crossed the Red Sea and all. Now, all the kings see this. Now, all the kings, all the kings west of the Jordan River heard about what had happened. There were the kings of Etites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Evites, Jebusites. We lived in the hill country in the western foothill and along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea as far north as the Lebanon mountains. These kings combined their armies to fight as one against Joshua. But when the people of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done to Jericho and I, they resulted to deception to save themselves. They sent ambassador to Joshua, loaded their donkey with withered saddle, saddlebags, old patch wine skin. They put on one claw, yadaba, sukete, yadaba, yadaba, shipradaba, kosete, mandaka, sata. They put on one cloth, patch sandals and rag clothes. And the bread they took with them was dry and moldy. When they arrived at the camp of Israel, Gilga, they told Joshua and the men of Israel, we have come from a distant land to ask you to make a peace treaty with us. The Israel replied to this Evite, how do we know you don't live nearby? If you do, we cannot make a treaty with you. They replied, we are your servants. But who are you? Joshua demanded, where do you come from? They answered, we come from a far distance. We have heard of the mighty work of your Lord. We have also heard that what he did to the two kings was the level so our elders and all our people instructed us take supply for a long journey go meet the people of israel and tell them where are your servants this we are your servant make a treaty this bread was us from from home higher hey but now as you can see it's dry and molds these wine skins were now filled with blah 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 so the look at this verse 14 so the israelites examined their food but did not consult the lord then Joshua made a peace treaty with them, guaranteed their safety 
and the leaders of the re- a con- community ratified the agreement with a binding oath. Three days after making the treaty, they learned that these people actually came from nearby. Is somebody with me this morning? Is somebody seeing what I'm seeing or sensing what I'm sensing as I read as I'm reading the scripture? In your good land, the devil will still try to cheat you out of it. I always say there's nothing as worse as being tormented in your promised land. There's nothing as worse as being tormented in your promised land. I'm going to pray against deception. Did you see that? The devil went all out. Head of the great exploit. They found bread. They planned this well. They planned this well. They planned this well. The Joshua, the Bible says they examined their food, ayah, but did not consult the Lord. Is somebody hearing me this morning? No matter how good it looks, no matter how great it looks, no matter how promising it looks, no matter how much the analysis and the paralysis and all the things and all the experts ask to say, have you consulted with the Lord? Ayadaba supre debe. The Lord told them to take over all these areas. Some people play them out. The one time they refused and they paid dearly for this. Because with this introduction came with all the foreign gods and all the things. This is one of the beginning of the of, of, of the dangers. The Bible says, no, no man by the flesh. No, no man by the flesh. How many of us are making decisions because it feels good? It looks good. It's, I, 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 it can't be harmful. It doesn't look bad. Other believers are doing it. My pastor said it. How many of us are going back to sit with the Lord to inquire of the Lord? Should we go? Should we pursue? Ah, it stood out to me in my scripture. I've, I've already marked it down. They examined their food, but did not consult the Lord. You are going to pray. I will not be blinded in my wealthy place. I come against the spirit. See, if it's, if deception was easy to sight and figure out, then people will not be deceived. There's something about deception that looks real, that looks true to the very point where you can even feel right. And people have gone through different means. I don't see it. And I know what the devil does now is to make people feel that, ah, you're not yet God. You see what they are saying now? You thought it was God. You obeyed God. You thought it was God. See, eh? the way, only way you can protect yourself from such is to keep praying this prayer. I thank you, Lord, for you, you saved me from the spirit of deception. Because the spirit of deception is one of the spirit and the manifestation of this age. And this court, of course, you want to get married. You want to start a business. You want to scale your business, your entry partnership, the places you visit, the programs you attend, the people you listen to, the people you submit to, the people you do friendship with, the people you, whatever it is, is connected on all grounds. Deception. Guess what? The Lord just even painted the picture. Some of us are the ones even deceiving people. But we repent today. I remember I could never forget one of the messages Apostle Femi preached. He said, bring forth your withered hands. Some of us are, is, we are like those who wear all these things. Package your CV in a way. You are deceiving, you are deceiving people to say what you are not. Look for things to say what you are not. Get into relationships to say what you are not. Show love to get certain things saying what you are not. But we're going to cry out today. We will not be deceived. I remember one of the things that um, Chris Valentin said. Ah, I wish I can find it. Oh, look, can we find it for maybe tomorrow? During that um, okay. um, election period in America, I said, it's funny how people are taking stands. The moment you feel that you cannot make mistake, you're already making mistake. The moment you feel that you're infallible, you're already making mistakes. With your gift and everything. I mean, I, 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 did we hear what Minister Kika said? Our message. We need to go back and listen to it. About that process of being sent. Oh, we're going to cry to God this morning. I will not be deceived. Joshua. You know, there's one other scripture. There's another scripture that people always reference to. 
oh my god there's another scripture about how people get deceived that's god holy spirit bring it it's coming to my mind i can't just can't remember what it is where they check everything else but consult from god the spirit of deception and the spirit of excitement the spirit of deception spirit of excitement jezebel spirits seductive spirits hi yeah 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 so today we're going to pray because you see they were in their promised land they were already taking territories they've pulled down jericho they were, you know and just when the devil you know, what made them to come to them this news of their their dominance you see when you are dominating even when you should you should even watch out they were dominating they were doing what god told them to do that's when you see there's some level you get to it's not it's not visible lies still or you do like this that the devil comes with to you with he comes with to you in deception it comes to you in deception did god really say he comes to you like the angel of light it comes to you trying to corrupt your seed corrupt your gifts corrupt your hearing corrupt your sight and what is the way like david search me oh god if there's any evil way in me. They came, because they came with molded, bread that has mold. They even told them when we left our land, the bread was hot. And we took it as that. We took it as that. They took it as that. To so see how long, see how much they put into planning to deceive them. Somebody that came up with that strategy. I, uh, somebody that came up with that demonic strategy. The devil is working overtime. The devil is working all over time. Yeah, they took their time. They found their weak spot. There was a movie I was watching. What movie was that? Yeah, I can't remember what it is. I saw a movie or something recently. And the person said, let's strike. Say said, no, don't strike yet. We need to find their weak points. And that's what the devil does. I heard my friend was telling me about this video that's been going around on YouTube of a guy that used to be in, um, in a, what's it called? In this demonic, satanic something. And it was sharing how they deceive, how this idea of my thing, and they can feel like my gifts. I'm the one doing this. You see, when you begin to paddle that way, you're already, if you're not careful, you're already coming under the influence of the devil because it's like that. The spirit of this age, self, there's nothing God can build on self. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But Lord is going to wash our eyes open. Can I tell you deception? Hmm. Don't let me go into that one. I will we'll do that later. I was talking about our heart, the purity of our heart, the purity of our heart, the purity of our heart. This is one of the beginning of the problem for the Israelites because they've entered treaty, and God takes covenant very seriously. God takes covenant very seriously. They've entered covenant now, they cannot break it, they're not crying doomsday. They end that covenant. They can't break it. I'm going to pray this morning. Father, Lord, thank God for the blood of Jesus. So the blood can help us break any covenant we have entered. Business deal. I was speaking to somebody yesterday from my guest that, that got like one ridiculous investment. But the Lord showed her, don't take it. The Lord is showing her clauses. I remember even um, one of the businesses that I... I sit on the board. I remember we're having a conversation. We've had these people. We've been on one investment journey for almost four years. And it will just be angry. And I just said, you know what? God, we will not enter partnership with the wrong people. That will, they will enter like salt and take over the vision you have given to us. No, God, it's not going to happen. The same thing, partnership, ministry partnership, eh, business partnership, marriage partnership, friendship partnership. Look at that scripture again, Joshua chapter 9. They said that they, they took their bread. They took bread. They made sure it had, they took one out clothes. The devil will go to any length to deceive you. I don't care. Spiritual person, you know, uh, they come back, they are speaking in tongues through their ears and their nose. It doesn't matter. We don't despise the gift of God. We don't, we're not suspicious, but we have a responsibility to discern. I will never get over the scripture. Verse 14, Joshua 9, 14. The Bible says, so the Israelites examined their food but did not consult the Lord. Then Joshua made a peace treaty with them and guaranteed their safety. Three days later, later, what happened if they have just waited three days? 
to say, let me pray for three days. That means if they've waited three days, they would have discovered that they were the same way. So that means after they did that agreement, somebody must have been digging something. That's how they found out that they are actually their neighbors. They're not from far. It doesn't cost them. Look at, see, the devil did his own due diligence to come and deceive them, but they didn't do their own. The devil to make sure that he made bread. The bread did not, was not mold overnight. They must have kept that bread. They must have prepared that bread. They must have torn the clothes. They put details. They must have made sure the wine fermented. They took their time before they engaged on the journey of deception. But it got to them and they made decision in an east, in, a, in, in, in east, and they allowed they examined what they saw. They examined what they saw. And they made a decision. You know how people come to you? They sound very right. Everything in you clicks. You still have to go back and wait and, and seek the face of the Lord like David. There's a time David will go, God will say, pursue them. If he had just run with pursue them, we just were pursuing. There was a time God said, no, do not. We're going to cry to God this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus. You know, you know, wow, this is so powerful. You know, Tolu wrote something here about how the spirit of excitement. You know why? You know what made them not to go back? Sometimes the spirit of excitement, it comes as eagerness, haste. You just want to make that decision and get away with it. You just, you just can't be bothered. You just can't be bothered. You just make that decision and get away with it. You just can't go back. That, that whole process. And sometimes it's laced with the spirit of laziness. Laziness is not just that you don't do your work. It's that you, when you don't do your due diligence, it's part of laziness. Laziness to go back. Guess what again? I'm making us to go back. Familiarity. Because you are now, you are now as the Holy Spirit. We are as the Holy Spirit. Familiarity. I know how God will speak. The Bible says that Elijah, fire, rock. Why was rock? Why, why will he think that God was in the rock? God must have been in the rock before. When he spoke to him, all those things that Elijah was waiting, that he didn't see in the thunder, in the earthquake, in the rock, where God was not there. The reason why Elijah would expect God to be there was God must have been there before in engaging with Elijah. God must have used earthquake, rock, whatever. So he didn't just go to earthquake because he didn't just feel it was, oh, it sounded like God should be here. Familiarity, excitement, laziness. And lack of understanding of our of our good land, of our wealth place. If you understand what you are, the vault you are, and what you carry, you understand. You will not underestimate the attempt of the enemy to corrupt it, to deceive you, and then you will make sure that you know you will not take a step. Like Tracy was teaching us on Saturday, on Sunday, is the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit. I remember when the case thing started. Typical us and typical my, my sister. We will be like, you know what? Let it go. What is it? We just to pack our things. The Lord that did, she be, they chased us. Don't forget now. She be, they asked her to leave her former place before she found the other place. And she didn't go to court. No problem. So let's go. But this time around, God said, no, we're fighting. You are going to court. That will sound like difficult. I, I, I remember last week, Lost I said, last week, yeah, I kept hearing do the art stuff. I was about to make a decision and there are two things in front of me and I kept hearing God. I have not decided on one because said, no, do the hard stuff. Do the hard stuff. Sometimes what you think is easy way out is just a trap. And sometimes what you think is, is you have to do the hard way. God is saying, no, do the easy way. So how do we know which one to do? You consult with God. Can we on meet our mic and begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I am shielded from the spirit of deception. When it comes, I know what it is. I will discern rightly why. Because I dwell in the secret place of the most high, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will know of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in whom shall we trust? Can we open our mouth and begin to pray? I will not be deceived. I will not be deceived. The spirit of I'm this age, the spirit of deceived. deception, will not the sweep me off my feet. No matter feet, how good it looks, no matter how great it sounds, no matter how appealing it feels, no matter how complex. Hey, Jesus, just before I make that treaty, just before I make that treaty, just before I make that agreement, just before I give my consent, just before I say yes, Jesus, you will interject. 
by the blood of the Lamb, by the breath of the Spirit of God. In the name of the Lord, I will not be deceived. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lord, we will not be deceived in the name of Jesus. We put our trust, our confidence in God. In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray for everyone on this call. We will not be deceived. And what I will listen to you later, we will not be deceived. The Spirit of God on our inside will be like that check engine sign that beeps and is able to identify danger, danger, don't go. In the name of Jesus, we will not be deceived. Oh, shaka bayadaba. Oh, shaka dadada. Okay, sis. Oh, my dad, we will not be deceived. We are sensitive across board. Guys, it will come as legit. You know, I preached the summer. You can go watch it on YouTube. We don't let what you are experiencing make you forget what you've experienced with God. Oh, shut up, we will not be deceived. In the name of Jesus, Aya, we will not be deceived. We will not mistake, get ready for go. I don't know what that word is for. You will not mistake, get ready for go. You know how the light is changing from red. But before it comes to green, it still gets to amber. It still gets to amber. And then you will not mistake amber for stop. In ideal world, when it still shows amber and you're close to the light, you can still, you're, you can still move, right? But the moment it stops, you stop. But the moment it's showing amber, you begin to slow down because you know that it could mean, you know, what, stop and all. But for somebody, you will not take it as go because you will take it as get ready. Get ready to go. Get ready to go. Get ready to go. My God. Thank you, Jesus. We will not be deceived. We will not, we will not check all the... We will not just do due diligence. And, and, and take it as, as the final authority. We we'll subject all our due diligence to you, O oh God, as our final authority. Decisions about relationships, decisions about friendship, decisions about alignment, decisions about where to worship, decisions about where to go. In the name of Jesus, we will not be deceived. We will not be deceived. We will not be deceived. The Bible says that in the last days, many shall, be, even the elect shall be deceived. I uh, is not the foolish virgins. We're not foolish idiots. They were foolish virgins. Already to be a virgin means that they were separated. They were a special people. But yet, even in the special people, they were foolish ones. I uh, haven't done all with our consecration. I haven't done all with our journey with God. I haven't done all. Lord, we will not be foolish. We will not be foolish. In the name of Jesus, we will not be too foolish. Even as a nation, yeah, an old entire nation was deceived. Hey, no longer will be deceived from the electoral processes, from making decisions, from, you know, the things we support, the things we stand by. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you. I pray for everybody here at the point of decision, just before you sign. Just before you put your final touch, you will hear that voice behind you say, this is the way. Walk in it. Don't turn left, don't turn right. The right counsel will echo right into your spirit and find you. Because sometimes the Lord saves us from deception through wisdom. Through wisdom. Not even sometimes. The Lord saves us through wisdom. Counsel. I remember Moses making decision. Moses was delegated, was solving problems. 
Moses that would see God face to face, yet he could not download delegation. It was his father-in-law that borrowed him wisdom and said, young man, man, you will die if you do this. So Lord, our ears are open to download wisdom from our teachers, from our leaders, from the right source. Lord, you will open our ears in the name of Jesus. Oh, shut up. Oh, wow, Mary, that's so good. I received a huge grant. I was supposed to sign for the disbursement on Friday, but I still couldn't get a release of my spirit to do it. Yes, go back. I, I kid you not. This is not what I wanted to say. As I was about to, as I opened my mouth and say, to say, uh, this week we're going to look at deception because I already have a conversation with somebody. Immediately, the Lord just said to me, "Go to this scripture just came into my spirit. And I knew that was the spirit of God. It was the word for somebody. We will not be deceived. We will not be deceived. I've made decisions before that because of my hard posture is that, Lord God, you have the right to redirect. Don't make, I, Lord, I will not make mistakes. At the last minute, there will be a, there will be a turnaround. It won't work. It, there will be a turnaround. Things will just turn. Things will just turn. And I release that over us in the name of Jesus. You return with your testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. This Sunday is when friends pray. It's our last major event for the year. Um, as we begin to get ready for 2024, we begin to press into the issue of the re we rekindle. And um, the prophetic word the Lord gave us in the last two months, we're going to be stewarding from, by God's grace, December, because we're going to milk it by the grace of God. And we're excited to see what God is set to do. Our lives will now remain the same in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray with me, agree with me, the prayer of agreement. I'm going to tell us, we're going to unmute our mic, we're going to say the same thing. We're going to say them together. We're going to say, Father, we claim three million. We're sending three million for our first. Father, we claim three million. Devil, get your hands off our money. Ministry angels, bring them in. And we thank you, Jesus, because we have received this. Those four things. And if you're here and you're trying to learn how to pray for finances, based on the, as the Lord leads you in terms of what God has called you to do, you're going to just out, we pray for it, okay? We learned this from Kenna again, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, can we do that together? At the count of three, I'll say it again. Father Lord, as when friends where we claim three million naira, devil, get your hands off our money. Ministry angels, bring it in, bring in the money in all currency, wherever it is across across board. Thank you, Father, for our three million. Okay, are we ready? So let's do that. One, two, three, let's go. Father Lord, we claim our three million. Get your hands off our resources. Claim it now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our money. Thank you, Lord, for our resources. Amen. Amen. I remember the last time we did this together was last year, August. When friends with then three days to the event. Because as it, as it stands, and I really bless God. Can, again, can we say a word of prayer for Classic Event Center? We've been at Classic since 2018. And even when the things changed this year, they told us, no, they will not. They just left it as it is. Eventually, we were able to review the price. It's still at a very huge discount, but... I just bless God for classic. Please, wherever you are, just, just keep thinking of a classic event center because they've been a blessing to us, you know. And so when things are really changing, I have to review some prizes and things. I mean, understandably so. So last year, August, I can never forget, 24 hours, we had like 48 hours to wear French brand. There were still major bills to be paid. And we said this prayer together. And before the end of that day, the Lord did it. And we eat that money and went beyond, went beyond whatever. Higher. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And and we got the resources. So even if you are trusting God for personal, yes, you can took um um took it. Even if you are trusting God for personal resources, you can do that. Now, as I saw you say, thank you, God, for good with Abba. The Lord um Abba is love. The Lord reminded me this might help somebody. I'm telling you about this issue of being led by God. I remember when we we're going to get married, we went to different halls. There were some halls we saw that they look like it and everything. But when we came to this place, we didn't even have the resource. It was not, it went beyond our budget. We just knew that this was where we should be. I did not know 
that during my wedding there was the leg to come. There's somebody here. God might ask you to purchase something or do something. And you're wondering that, but God, the miracle will have been that they, I, they just give it to me. You don't know what God is doing. I didn't know. We didn't know that putting our leg there and using that place, a lot of our friends use the place. They even gave us discounts. We even got discount, blah, 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 blah. As we stepped in to start doing that, we didn't know that God was going to open the door. It's, we did wedding. It's almost nine years. Nine years now that we did that. But God built a powerful relationship that will bless the ministry. I'm telling somebody, your life is so connected. Like every area. See, what obedience in an area of your life has ripple effect. I will not forget in the life of me. I've always said it that your obedience is God's love language. Obedience is a weapon. But when Joyce said it on, on, on Sunday, that weaponized obedience, it hit my spirit. Somebody listen. Everything is connected. Everything is connected. As you begin to step into what God is saying you should do, as you begin to don't box God on how God will do it, you just obey God. And Lord God will help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, God bless you. Remember the link you are using it to join other watches. I have a casupre de veke siara. Jendele vrekula prado do sefataya. Jeleba ko seketeyara. Nendele supre de piata. Nendo sufre de kiata na bado shehaya. Oh, thank you, glory to God. I don't know if there's anybody here. Now, this might not be everybody. There's somebody here, as we just prayed that prayer, there was there was an amount came to your spirit. You don't have it, or it doesn't make sense. Just raise your hand. Let me pray with you. Wherever you are. I'm I'm doing that right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Anybody? Thank you, Jesus. Kola bayadaba shataba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I saw you, I saw you in my spirit. Because something jumped into my own spirit as I said that as I was about to end. And the Lord reminded me of June 2018. I just before my birthday, I was speaking to the Lord about I kept saying a particular seed. I don't know. As I was saying, God, I can't wait to give you this kind of money. I can't wait as a single seed. Oh wow. Tolu. The Lord is asking us to go back to that, that thing that we used to do. I don't know if she's still on the call, but she's dropped off. Like, I can't say, I can't wait to give you that particular amount. And that day, June 2018, somebody walked in. And the next day, I got a call. Someone to come pick a check. I think I traveled afterwards for the exact amount I've been trusting God for to give us a seed. But can I tell you that that's the beginning of that realm in my life. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone that answered up for God. The Lord God, you give, oh, wow, 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 wow. The promise of the week in Fountain of Life Church. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The promise of the week in Fountain of Life Church is Second Corinthians chapter, oh, thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, 10, 9. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians 9 verse 10. For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to read another um, TPT. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The most generous God will give seed to the farmer that becomes bread for your meal. It's more than extravagant with you. It gives you something you can then give away, which grows into full-formed life. In the name of Jesus, TPT says, um, the generous God who supplies abundance seed for the farmer, which becomes bread for our meal, is even more extravagant towards you. First, it supplies every need plus more. First, he supplies every need. Then he multiplies the seed as you sow it so that the harvest of generosity will grow. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is not just going to give you seed. He's going to give you bread. In the name of Jesus, he's not just going to give you seed. He's going to give you bread. In the name of Jesus, get ready. Get ready for a testimony of how you will see the Lord multiply your seed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Have a blessed day.